Yo, 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 friends. I'm Colonel Failure, and, uh, and I, as well as being incredibly urban, I'm here today to bring you a spot of Transport Fever 2 in a very relaxing kind of fashion. Uh, you will notice ahead of you that, uh, that there is a ship uh, sailing there off into the distance among some oh, highly dramatic and charming landscape. And uh, sadly, the ship pilot is... Well, he's drunk. I mean, he's, he's weaving one way, wiggles about a bit, weaves the other way, wiggles about a bit, weaves the other way. I, I mean, if he had sails, I could understand it, because that would be tacking. Uh, but no, for some reason, he's, uh, he's incapable of going in a straight line. I'm sure that won't undermine your enjoyment of what is going to follow shortly. Now then, normally I leave all of this cinematic-type business to the front end of the show, uh, ahead of the bombastic intro, but today it felt appropriate to do a little bit more of it. Although, admittedly, I'm not really using the camera at all for this one. I'm just moving very slowly forward, holding down the W key. And I suppose I should probably bring you up to speed as to where I am and why I'm doing this. Okay, then. Uh, right, where am I? Well, I'm right at the north edge of the map. Well, uh, approaching the north edge of the map. And uh, we're going through this scenic area. This is the uh, the northern umbrella line uh, going up here. If you keep going down that way, you end up in Beauclair, right? You know where we are. Um, if you don't, you haven't watched the series properly. Go and watch it again, but properly. Twice. Uh, but here's Elmore, uh, which is, you know, it's got some passages going on, which is utterly delightful. Uh, but then uh, we continue this way, because I'm not interested in Elmore, although I'm semi-interested in Elmore. Uh, we, get, we keep going, and, uh, and we end up just outside Royston Vasey here at the Kuala Lumpur fuel refinery. This is the only fuel refinery on the map. That's the only one. There are no others, just this one. This is it. That's your lot. No, that's, that's all there is on this particular island. Uh, now, is, as if that weren't interesting enough, and let's face it, that's flipping interesting, uh, there is also uh, a, uh, a construction materials plant here, and there aren't exactly many of those, neither. So, what am I going to do about these two things? I'm going to build a shipping route. Well, okay, that sounds good. Uh, we're not going to do con mats today, we're going to try and, uh, we'll try and tackle oil, but the oil in question is going to start down here at uh, at wherever the oil well is where did i leave it there it is at the uh, nur sultan nur sultan uh oil well uh, which will be shipped uh, gently lovingly and with great deal of respect over here to the busan oil refinery in between ankh-morpork and caprica after it's been, after it's had that done to it it will then board a ship and it will come up the coast there and uh Wiggle around this way a bit, and then probably do a straight line for a little while till it gets to Moss Isley, at which point it will cut through here. So I need to do a bit of dredging there, at which point it's going to cut along the side of Elmore uh, in a canal that has yet to be made. I'm going to make a canal, friends. Uh, it will then wiggle around the edge here. I'll probably bulldoze that bit, and uh, we'll bang it straight in there where it can get turned into fuel. The whole thing will have a running time of, well, I mean, a turnaround time on the uh, on the journey of around six and a half millennia. And, uh, and as a result, I expect it to make an unholy amount of money. Now, before I embark on these things, or maybe as I embark, before or as, which is it going to be? Well, let's go with before. Uh, the important thing here is that uh, with, with one refinery hooked up, I'm going to be able to supply four cities with the fuel that they like. Okay, that's not many. There are more cities that demand that stuff than the amount that I can actually make. And this leads me to what I'm going to do with this series. Yeah, no, no, I had a thought. And then I thought, yeah, all right, that's okay. Uh, so if we look at the uh, the cargo requirements here, you'll see Iron Forge, Mega City 1, Stepford, Sunnydale, The Citadel, and Ulthar would all quite like some fuel. Well, I'm sorry there, kids. I can't supply all of you. Uh, but I'm going to... Oh, hold on. And they're not alone. And Arakeen, Minas Tirith, Moss Eisley, New Vegas, Cuesta Verde. Um, well, it was probably Cuesta Verde. I'd go Rapture, the Sprawl, Waterdeep. And you kind of go, oh, okay. And, and, but wait, that's not all. And then Beauclair and Gotham City and Miranda. They all want it, right? Now, 
I can't supply all of them. And so what I'm going to try and do is we will supply some for a little while and and uh, and get them, you know, feeling a little bit happier about life. And then we'll supply some others for a little while and see how they feel about it. No, I don't know if it's going to work or not either. But, uh, you know, how we're going to find out? Yeah, by doing the thing that we'll do that allows us to find out. Right then. We've got a good station here already uh, in order to bring in food. So bringing in a spot of oil shouldn't be a problem. It's in catchment. That's, uh, that's really rather super. Now, all I need is a, is a port here that is also in catchment. Uh, so uh, let's, let's just fit oil one to start with and, uh, and see what it ends up looking like. We only need one for now. And frankly, I've got so much money that if we need more later... I'll just build another one later. I don't think that's I don't think that's it. What have we got here? Nope, you haven't got catchment. Ah, ah. Well, hold on. I can I can probably make that work. If I sling in the a very small amount of street here, uh, about there, about here, about there. Right? And just get the tendrils poking out like that. That might be enough for half a dozen lads with sack barrows to come out with a barrel of oil apiece in order to send it to the port. And it is. Okay, good. Do you want to dredge a little bit more first? Nah, that'll be, that'll be good. Because uh, I've really rather just smashed in the ports that I've got at the moment. Um, I, haven't, I haven't really put much, much effort into making them look good. And, and frankly, I think that was, that was a bit of a waste on my part. But it is done now. And therefore what are you indeed going to do so right okay let's set the rail line up next because i'm hoping i can do that fairly quickly now which way do you come in you come in down this line here so something that runs in on that line there as well and then create some kind of devilishly cool queuing system you mean some double track yeah i think i i think i rather do okay well just do it then all right, so uh, we won't do too much. I'll just do uh, just do a little bit, um, and then hopefully there'll be enough space here to uh, to run some stuff. I don't know how much stuff I'm going to be running, but uh, at least two trains. Now the other interesting thing that I might not look at, uh, probably because I won't, is uh, is that uh, right now Caprica has the highest level of demand. Yeah, I know, that wasn't a very fast junction. Uh, Caprica has the highest level of demand for uh, uh, for food. Uh, or rather, it's the one that the uh, the food hub is trying to supply more than anyone else. And since we're here, we'll just go and poke it for a second. We're not, though, it's here. It's, it's over here. It's, it's here. Look. Right, here it is. No, wait, facing the wrong way. Here it is. Right, there you go. So you'll see that Zion Transfer Caprica's got 340 waiting and it's overflowing. Dark City's only got 62. District 12 is currently empty. I suspect the train left recently. But even so, I'm at a bit of a loss to understand why it is that uh, this double bill over here, yes, we're supplying two cities, but you add Dark City and Mega City 1 together, you don't get, and, and uh, District 12 together, you don't get the same level of demand. So there you go, that's just a, that's just a mystery for you there. That's something for you to puzzle over. In the, uh, in the short space of time it's going to take me to get this running. Or the short space of time I think it's going to take me to get this running. Could take quite a long time to get running, but uh, I'm optimistic that it will take less than a long time. Right, sling that on there, get rid of that one. There we go, that's all ready to rock and roll. Uh, let's just have a quick look at roots. Yep, that's working. Uh, right, okay, so next caper is to uh, is to stick a, a quick station on here. Now, I don't think this one necessarily needs to be very long, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give it a benefit of the doubt and uh, give it a, a reasonable amount of length, by which I mean 160 metres. Um, now, the only, the only problem here is that that bit that I just double-tracked is actually not going to help me very much at all. Good. Are we going to try this anyway? Uh, it certainly seems like we are. Okay, all right, well, crack on then. Uh, right, so you come around here and then uh, and then slap it on here a bit. Now, ease it back some and slap it on about there. Yeah, you've you've not got enough double track. I know you were avoiding removing that run up to the redundant and ghostly station that really should be bulldozed. 
Uh, so I think if uh, if there were a time to bulldoze it, now would probably be that time, because then you can double track all the way down to the tunnel. Alright, okay. Thank you for your service. Right, okay, now then, let's, uh, let's run this back a bit and, and double track a little bit more effectively, shall we? Uh, right, you come here. Yeah, I know. Well, no, I, I don't know. I was expect I was anticipating the red flashing light of you done goofed, but the red flashing light has not uh, as yet transpired, so that's that's nice. Uh, right, yeah, that'll do. Good. Give it a signal. Yep. Okay. Right there. Okay. So the thinking is that uh, that one line comes in. So let's say uh, the the oil line comes in, uh, goes here I go like that. And, uh, and goes and parks up and then waits for this chap to come out the tunnel, as it is doing at present, uh, at which point it can go in, unload, and come back again. And the only time we should get any queuing here is when someone is currently off doing an unload. All right? That's the only time that should happen. Should never happen at any other time. I'm very confident to say that it won't happen at almost any other time. There will be nearly no occasions of it happening when it shouldn't be. Probably stick one here as well. Right. Okay, good. Right, let's set that up as a route, because that's done. Um, yeah, I know. I said this was going to be easy. So uh, grab that. Yeah, Zion North, and I'll wang it down over to there. There you go. Caprica City East. Super duper. Right, so this is going to be oil supply. Any, any advance on that? Let's go Caprica. Right, marvellous. Now, I'm going to need to stick a train on there, so I will do. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll deploy that from over here, because uh, we know we can get down to, uh, down to Caprica uh, from the main depot. Don't know how long it's going to take, but that's okay. I've got other things to do while we wait for that to happen. Now, it doesn't need to be anything too enormous, this one. In fact, this uh, this class OB might do the do the job. Uh, the the BR seventy five point four don't. That's not it. It's a good loco that one, but we don't need it. That's no. no we can go with something a little bit smaller because it's only going a, a short distance. And I don't think I've used the OB, so we'll uh, we'll get on board with the OB. Sixty kilometers an hour, and we need uh, wagons of a liquid type nature. You will do fifty. Yeah. You will do 50. Okay. You, yeah, you'll do 50. Oh, hi, hold on. There we go. These will do 80. They carry a bit more. Uh, all right, let's use these ones. They're Russian. They suit the locomotive. I think that's life even better. So uh, how many do you want? That's a capacity of 72. Go one more. 84. Go one less. 72. All right, buy it. Right, deploy that per that turkey onto the uh, turkey line. It made the okay. I can do that noise, and uh, we're going to leave that to uh, to its business and turn our attention to a little bit of terrain fabrication and manipulation, and uh, standing ovation. Good. Right, first job is uh, let's get rid of the uh, the sandbanks we've got here. Let's crank this up to uh, to full wheeze. Because uh, it's gonna, it's gonna need it, right? Yeah, yeah. Go straight. Oh, lovely. In fact, that might be all I need. Just do a little bit more. Just a, just a smidge more. Let go of the button, and it all just kind of evens out a bit. Do a smidge more through here. Yeah, that's good. That's that's all worked out nicely. Now this desert island. I don't know who puts desert islands in just in situ like that. That's just a terrible idea. Uh, get rid of that as well. You gone? Nope, still got a bit of sand. Okay. Uh, are you gone yet? Are you gone? Have you? Almost. Gone enough, then. Right, and then we'll just smooth this to make it look like it isn't natural. And uh, and then we'll be good to move on to the next step. This is largely just to give us a corridor that we can uh, we can fling the ships through. Right, I mean it, it's it is obviously man-made, um, but if I do a little bit of edge work here, we can at least make it look like Mother Nature and her merry pixies have uh, have have had a go at it since it was originally dug and gone. Oh no, have some longshore drift. See how you like them apples or sand. Right, uh, 
Good, yeah, wang that in there. Oh, flipping it. I learned longshore drift in flipping geography. It wasn't just about colouring in maps at all. I actually learned something. Right, okay, next stage is to uh, is to cross here. Now, the, the smart place to do it is pretty much straight through this depot. So we're going to go straight through the depot. Now, what are you at the moment? I don't know. Are you, oh, you're a goods factory. Uh, that's interesting. Um, in that... I could manufacture plastic down south, uh, and I'm already manufacturing steel, so you might end up being part of the show. You might not, but you might. Uh, we don't want to rule anything out, because, you know, that's a, that's a bit of a mystery. Now, we've got to do something with this rail line, but obviously we can, uh, we can dispatch the road, because uh, that's, not, that's not going to do a lot. Um, Right, let's uh, let's bung some paws in here uh, as we're about to uh, as we're about to get naughty. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Now then, what do you think? Pretty much a straight line to the, down there. Yeah, pretty much a straight line down there ought to do the trick. All right then, here we go. Oh, it's it's magnificent. Yeah, I know. I've got I've got to do a second lap. You're all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving your work very much appreciating what's going on what just okay it's it's not gone quite as well when you get a little bit further away your initial precision there was adequate later precision was lacking so you're now going to have to either spread this out a bit to make it look like it's a straight corridor we're going for a you know a panama-esque uh joining of uh, of two bodies of water largely because that's exactly what it is all right. I mean, it doesn't need to be inexpensive. Uh, we've got the... Oh, gently. Steady on. No, no, no. I wasn't I'd actually intended to do a beachfront here, but actually, now that, now that I've started doing it, I quite like it. Um, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just that flipping indentation there is the only one that really makes me sad. This one's acceptable. The one the other side is not. There you go. Almost there. Is there. It's just a slightly fatter bit. Let's say that someone with a dredger ran a ran aground there at some point and then uh, ran ran away with the ground. Do you want to have another go at that? <laughs> yeah, as much as it's a really stupid thing to do. Yes, I do. There you go. Just don't touch. That's good. Now sort this one. Yeah, almost. Yeah. No! Oh, you all... The, the all there we go, that's got it. Uh, that'll do. From a... Mm, will it, though? Yes, it flipping will. Just leave it alone, man. I don't know why you persist in, in doing this daft, flipping, manipulatory business. Well, in this case, it's because it makes sense. Um, now, part of me thought, oh, just stick up a flipping airline and, uh, and do it that way. And then you went like, so you're talking about shipping crude oil on board an aircraft no one would do that that's i mean and at which point someone's going to go well actually we do it all the time it's uh, works like this because uh, oil's heavy right it, it, it is not an inexpensive thing to ship and therefore sticking it in a plane makes no sense at all which is why you stick it in flaming great tankers uh to get it between uh here and there right you don't because you need lots of it and uh, and secondly, uh, you, that that's there is no secondly. That, that that's all there is to it. Sticking it on board a, a seven four seven or what have you, it's just not gonna. That's not gonna do the do the necessary. Anyway, I uh, I procrastinate here. I'm just gonna stick this dock in. Right. Apparently, I I now have everything that I could conceivably need in order to make a, a fuel line operational. Which is disturbing. Um, we need to put in that rail route again, but I'm going to do something incredibly tasteful with a bridge. Uh, it's still not exactly perfect, but it's perfect enough for my... I wonder... All right, hold on. Need to do a quick test of something. I don't think this is going to work. We're going to try it anyway. So if I were to stick in a bit of road, right? Now, will that road act as a hard border for any digging that I get up to? Well, up, it definitely does, right? You see that? Look, zoom in. Hard border. Beautiful. All right, level it back out. Right, okay. Now, what about down? 
Well, in answer to your question, yes, it does. In answer to your second question, what's this mess all about? Um, right, well, there you go. That, that answers that. I'm actually going to... I like that. It's, it's kind of a bit of swampland. So we'll we'll grab a bit here and just... Uh, we'll go... No, no, you, you grab the wrong bit. Grab that bit and go out to here. That's it. Yeah, it's it's less of less swamp plan now. You've used rather too large a brush for this uh, this activity, and then just uh, sand it in. And it's like a kind of high tide cove sort of situation kind of deal. There we are. Have a look at that. Hey, ah, oh, oh, think of the things that could be washed up in that. Um, yeah, Daryl Hannah could happen. Um, right. Okay. So moving on. We've uh, we've got that. We've got this. Act at, stop it. Thank you. Uh, we, we've got that. Yes. We've got this. Also, yes. Uh, we've got that. That's good. And then we've got this, which is great. Now, given it's going to take a little bit of time for uh, for ships to start doing anything. Oh, hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. You were going to do something tasteful with a bridge. Yes. Now, the only the only real problem with that yes is that uh, it would create quite a problematic angle there i need i mean more or less a straight line shot over the uh over the canal in order to make this functional all right okay now you're also going to want the uh, the shipping lanes overlay like that okay this is this is going to work out well isn't it yeah well there are there are numerous opportunities for it to not go well so let's see what happens. So if I would go over like that, which is what I'd quite like to do, thank you very much, does that leave us a shipping lane underneath? Apparently it does, but it doesn't look very tall, does it? All right, go one more one more notch on your shipping lane tall deployment device. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's okay. Now, hopefully, whatever is passing underneath that doesn't uh, get the sudden urge just to, you know, take out a pillar. That's much better. Right. Good. Now, I think that might be too long. I might have to take another go at this, but uh, but you never know. So uh, so just bung a bit of track in, see if it links up ha happily enough. It has done on that side. And on the other side, of course, I can, I can move it until I'm pleased with it, which is fortunate because it's not going to work where it is right now. It's okay, this was the plan. You don't know, you don't go, oh, you've completely goofed. I go, no, this was the plan because later on it's going to need a branch and go over that way. So, hush, 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 hush. Your row. Uh, right, come around the corner here. Keep the, uh, keep the momentum uh, valuable. Uh, leave, leave that alone. And, uh, and we're, we're off and, uh, off and frisking. Good. I'm not entirely sure frisking is a verb, but uh, we like to use it in a verbiated sense. Right, okay, sling that down there, bung this on here, and just go, how'd you do? No, not how'd you do. All right, try it again. How'd you do? And then we turn around and notice, why? Why have you done that? Hmm? Uh, third, secondly, who gave you authorization to do that? Let's go as far as there. All right. Keep it on the flat. I know. I don't know who my uh, my master of engineering is, but they're flipping obsessed with building embankments all over the joint. And uh, that looks uh, adequate, although there's a bit of a dip there. This looks okay as long as it doesn't create. It's created a flaming hump. Stop doing flipping hump flipping trousers. Right. Okay. Grab you this. Come here. No. Just get closer. All right. Okay. Get as far as there. Now, I see it's trying to go uphill. Yeah, tell it not to do that. Okay. All right, and now go straight again. Wait, not too far. Otherwise, it will have funny ideas. All right, okay. Now, this does elongate the route a little bit. Uh, but, you know, can't make a route without breaking a little bit of elong musk. Uh, right, there's that. And... Okay, so it's not quite as direct as it was previously, but now it's got a bridge that'll have ships going underneath it, and therefore it's worth every single second of everybody's time. And uh, and that's that's a good thing. I've also just dropped below 300 million in the bank for the first time in a little while. That's quite exciting. 
Okay, your mileage may vary. Right, okay, station one is this one. Yeah, good noises, but wrong uh, wrong outcome. Ank more pork south, which should have a, a better name than that, but I'm not going to give it a better name than that. And here we can see just what a mess I made of, of that bit. And then you're going up there to, to click on stations to... Oh, okay, hold on, we had a, we had a, dis, a dis-synchronization there. Right, so there we go. We've got our Royston Vasey and uh, an Ankh Morporks there linked up and speaking to one another, at which point this needs a, uh, a name of some description. It's going to be uh, oil shipping, because I'm incredibly imaginative, uh, bulk. Now, you know, we could, uh, we could use other names there. I own Susan. That's a perfectly reasonable name. But, uh, but in this case, I think oil shipping bulk is probably the one that makes the most sense. Very tempted to do something more here to make that look better, uh, but maybe later. Right, okay, so I now need to fling some ships on that. Now, I received a comment in the comments, which is where I was expecting to receive a comment, uh, to say that stop putting my shipyards in the middle of nowhere, right? It just feels wrong and bad and wrong. All right, fair enough. Um, let's close this. Right, uh, and, and instead... Because it it just feels like there's no way to get there, and it just feels isolated and so forth. And I've it's kind of become a thing that I do is try and put shipyards as far away from humanity as possible. But that ends now. Uh, we shall park one just outside Ankh-Morpork, Pork, and uh, and that way people can commute and work there, providing it decides to play ball and allow me to do it. If it doesn't decide to play ball or allow me to do it, then uh, I'll just stick it wherever I can find a gap. Uh, about there? Yeah. No. It looks terrible. Look, why would you... Why would you say, oh, yeah, there you go, that looks exactly perfect according to all of the laws of nature when it doesn't have anything to do with any of the laws of nature at all? Uh, you just need a deployment into the... You know, the whatnot. So uh, have a deployment into the aforementioned whatnot. Then bulldoze that because it looks ridiculous. And then, uh, then grab a little bit of this, and we'll make a proper little, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do this. Uh, t I'll tell you what, do that in a moment. All right, buy a ship, or as will probably be needed, several ships. Buy vehicles, what do we got? The Vandal. Good, trustworthy, vandaly Vandal. Uh, 1.08 million a year. Let's have one of them, and uh, then set it, to, uh, set it to work. Oil shipping bulk. There we go. Didn't make a noise. I'm I'm hoping that that would hold on. You need to unpause the the whatnot. All right. Would you come in, please, Mister Vandal or Miss? All right. Yeah, they knocked me up at the weekend. Did they now? By which I mean they built me. Oh, I see. That that's that's far more uh, far more plausible. Right now, this is going to take the rest of your natural life to get anywhere. Oh, but we've got to... Oh, just look at the scenery. The scenery is really lending itself towards many things. I don't know what any of those things are, but it, just take my word for it. It's there, and it's uh, ripply, and, and then we've got the cliffs and the buildings and the subsidence and, and all of that jazz. Right, that's now going to do a thing for a while. Let's go and pay attention to our oil line, where we've got oil being produced. 114 waiting, that's nice. What are you? This is a train that does oil. Empty at the moment, so I'm going to turn it around. Well, especially when there's some oil actually waiting for it. You might as well go get some there, Tiger. I suspect quite strongly the reason that it was going there empty on its first at bat was uh, was due to the fact that there isn't a junction it can reach from uh, from depot wood. Uh, but that's that's okay. That's that's fine. Do you, you want a close-up? Oh, flipping, oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. That's all it is with you people. Right, it's got the roll bars on there, uh, just in case it rolls at all. We've got these big dollopy uh, chaps uh, sat on the end there. I don't know if this is going to be a big enough train, um, but it should be enough just to get us, you know, started. So, right, you're going to go pick up some oil, and then uh, we're going to drop it off over here. Now, where did my ship go? Oh, it's coming the right way. That's a good sign. And while it does so... I shall now build something delicate and beautiful for the folks who work in the shipyard. And uh, it starts with a piece of road like that. 
Does this shipyard need a piece of road? No, it builds ships, not cars. Uh, but it's getting one anyway. And then we'll, we'll wiggle around over here. That's, that's excellent. Oh, that's, that's gone super well already. Uh, and then next, we're going to bulldoze these trees. Try not to bulldoze the shipyard. Just bulldoze the tree. Bulldozing the trees. Because we're going to make this look authentic. I'm, I'm a high detail it is what's going to happen. And first you need to you need to remove the indigenous foliage. Uh, because there's nothing indigenous about ships. No, they're made by people. Using tools. Some of those tools use fire. Uh, and then we remove the foliage the other side. I apologise for the, uh, the highly explosive sound effects you're getting at the moment. But it's been a while since I've done this volume of, uh, of demolition all at once. And therefore, you know, I'm embracing it. Right, I'm almost done. I'm done. Right, good. That's that. Now then, we'll next, uh, we next keep running this a little bit further because I'm quite giving myself enough room. Just, there we go. And then, uh, then we shall run a bit of road up here. Ideally in a straight line. Um, is it a deal breaker if it's not in a straight line? Well, yes, I think it probably is. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, yeah. Then we have to pretend that we've got assets along the lines of, you know, cranes and and things and other stuff that you might find at a shipyard. Shipbuilders, you know, a car, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. I imagine I've got all of those mods downloaded already and, and I'm going to spend the next 16 hours just painstakingly drawing them in but i don't so uh, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to find the one of these that looks the most like tarmac hopefully one that says tarmac gravel asphalt that's what americans call tarmac that'll do uh, let's do this there you go tarmac this thing in ignore the fact that you've got some underspill coming in the uh, in the ship way there that's it yeah that's it make it look good and then we want a bit of gravel, but we'll uh, we'll down tempo this just so that the gravel looks like it might be, uh, you know, just some loose chippings that you could very easily catch in your face if you're very lucky. A uh, bit more maybe. Yeah, you see, look, that's uh, dappled. Dappled is what I've done to that. That's uh, that's looking great. I love the way that it's actually lower down than the road. That way, all of the workers can just kind of you know, fall into fall into work. Uh, what are you going to do about that? I'm going to I'm going to increase the uh, the elevation a little bit. Are you? Are you sure that's going to go well? No, I'm not even remotely sure that's going to go well. All right. Well, off we go. Yeah. Okay. So far, so adequate. Now it's now it's looking worse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because the footprint of this thing isn't actually. Oh, I done. It just did. Now it's yeah. You know what you're going to have to do here. I'm going to have to get the smoothing gun out and hope for the best, aren't I? You rather are. Although you've managed to make a little bit of progress there. You've almost got it back looking as good as it did initially. Oh, hold on. He might be he might be on the cusp of having sorted this out somewhat. Come on. Take me beyond the cusp. Oh, all right, look. Just have a smidge of this. Yeah, I know it's going to do that. But, uh, but you know, having a bit of underspill C go there is is going to look all right if i can just smooth the edges out on that i don't know what's with this flipping ripply business no don't do not want do not make me tree gun my way out of trouble okay well it's because i put stuff down right that's got to be why it's giving me the evo on this is just it's just, oh, just will you please just behave all right just try it down down tempo a little bit and does it want to behave no it does not want to behave fine okay well so be it then i need i need some scrubby looking rocks which it won't do all right i'll put one there that's great that's really sold it that's yeah that's got the problem well under control yeah more rocks give me some rotation oh, hold on brush size oh man avalanche yeah, that's it. Yeah, go on, bang some rocks in here. And then it will look like, oh, look, this is uh, an area of rockiness that is uh, that is undoubtedly going to be splendid of, of some kind. Um, good. Oh, wait, we've got, we got more. 
slope threshold. Good. Give it a lot of slope threshold. I want lots and lots of slope threshold. Doesn't seem to do anything. All right. No, I don't want any slope threshold at all. <clears throat> no, it's, no, it's not even. Paint it on the steep side. It's, no, it doesn't care. Random. Skip collision. Skip. Skip the collision. Well, you might be skipping a collision, but I'll tell you what you're not doing. And that's, uh, and that's putting any flipping rocks in. Declare victory. I think we'll declare victory. About there. Close to there. Uh, let's uh, let's put in a little bit of effort on a on a palm or two. Uh, change the bus, brush size down. Do you fancy uh, palming it? Palm some? Palm it? Let's make sure it's actually working. No, oh, okay, that explains quite a lot. It's not doing anything. I have broken the atmospheric tools. Interesting. Well, how have I how have I done that? Yeah, you, no. <laughs> No, no tree gun for you. Tree gun's gone on strike. What if I don't paint the street? Oh, the steep. I see. So painting it steep side means don't do anything at all. I should have known. Anyway, look, bung in a bit of this. Yeah, that's it. That's oh, it's, that's that's the stuff. That's looking totally authentic now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Yep. Uh, let's put in some banana plants because uh, they grow in salt water, don't they? Yeah, that, that explains why they're so full of potassium. Because of the salt in the salt water. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, good. And then uh, we need to make this just a little bit sandy. Because, uh, you know, where there are bananas, there are sand. Uh, good. Yeah, come on, have some. Just a... No. Look, I've, you have some strength. Oh, that's that's truly pathetic. Give me, give me, give me some more brush size. Ah, there you go. Right. Yeah, I'm okay with this because it's doing the underside of uh, of the shipyard, and that's that's okay as well. But you just painted that all in gravel and stuff. Well, it's eroded, hasn't it? You know, that's uh, that's what you get if you uh, if you give nature enough time of abuse. It's just going to go, no, stuff you. I'm going to take away all of those nice things that you had there building in the land. Um, right, now, I want to put uh, a bit of uh, a bit of variable in here. What do we got here? What are you? You're the misc. A bench. No, no, you don't deserve a bench. Uh, give, me a, give me a date palm. And uh, I want a date palm. Hold on, you can multi-select these. And I can't remember where the multi-select button is. So I won't bother. Right, just sling some of these in here. Why are you fighting me there, Tree Gun? We used to get on famously. But now you're, you're all, you know, you're too important to work with me. There you go. All the date palms. Yeah, no one will forget what date it is now. <laughs> yeah, well done. All right, okay, good. Yeah, put in a couple of those just to make it look natural. Sure, plant them in the middle of the road. That's a that's a sound sound piece of of planetary design going on there. I think we're probably done here, don't you? I'm doing this, of course, just to give things a chance to uh, to get started a little bit, so we can go right. Let's see how they're getting on. Now that I've given them some time to uh, see how they're getting on, right? We're rolling out with some oil finally, and because uh, that's that's been sat waiting for the flipping food train for a, for donkey's ears. Uh, but the donkey's now moved on to another destination, and we can go and drop this off. Now, where's my ship? Ship's turned round. We're now on board. Turn around again. I know it's only your debut voyage, and you shouldn't expect to make any money from it, but honestly, I want to make some money from it, even if that money is not a great deal. Uh, we still want, you know, some ROI is going to be rather pleasant. There's a tram. That's nice. Uh, there's a truck. That's that's quite good too. Uh, between episodes, and uh, I know you like to see all of this stuff, but you know can't be helped. Can be helped, but I'm not going to. Uh, I will do vehicle upgrading and that kind of thing when it's not very exciting upgrading. So, for example, I mean this truck, for example. You know, oh ah look, oh, you know what's cool? We can even see through his back window. That's that's quite nice. There you go. That's the trucks that I'm running at the moment. Everywhere. Everywhere where there are trucks, that is the truck that is everywhere. It's, it's going to come in now and make a pickup of food that isn't waiting. 
that's the normal behaviour anyway. I was a flipping tram in a way. Well, just going to have to get on with it. Yeah, mow him down. Yeah, I don't care what sort of hat he's wearing. Show him who's boss. I'm who's boss. I'm a truck. Right, good. There you go. So that's doing that. Where are we now? Where's my train? Has my train arrived? I need, I need my train. Is it in a tunnel? Is it? Ah, here we go. Train. Right, zoom in. Uh, zoom out. Uh, give me this one. Standard tracky camera, please. There you go. Um, this side. Right, so this is going to drop off 72. It hasn't come a very long way, but it's going to have made some money. And the amount of money it's made is... 698,000. I'll do. Uh, right, so we've got fuel that is now presumably being refined, and there it is putting the refined fuel on the dockside. And there's there's three waiting. Yeah, that was that was worth it. I was four. No, sorry, four waiting. Good show. So uh, so this first shipload is going to be carrying I don't know maybe fifteen in total, something like that. And, and when it gets to the other end, because it has gone such an incredibly long way, it might actually make a profit just off carrying 15 or so. But obviously, we're going to have to wait and see what happens on that front. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for now, because uh, I haven't decided what's going to happen with regard to the finished fuel-based product. Who are going to be the lucky recipients of my first fuel fuely deliveries? Uh, will they feel fuelish? Ah, uh, okay. No, I'll leave that to you. If you want to, if you can be bothered making fuel-based puns or oil in the comments, then you know have at it. Don't get used to it though. This is not something I intend to make a habit of. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. I'm pausing here because uh, I'm I'm optimistic that we're going to get quite a nice shot of the ship when it comes in. I'm not going to look. I'm going on faith that a nice shot will happen if I stay here. I shall catch up with you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to make sure that you uh, are subscribed. And, uh, and sling a like at this one if uh, you liked it. If you didn't like it, then, uh, you know, other buttons are available. Not least of all the subscribe button, which you can press anyway, just for the sake of it. I'll be back soon with another one. Cheerio! I've got a minor concern. Yeah. It's only a minor concern, and, uh, and maybe it will end up not being a concern. However, my concern, minor though it may be, is that uh, in the Transport Fever 1 there, I was, uh, I was the maestro when it came to the old smoothing gun. And the terrain tools generally, I had, I had, uh, I had their number, and, and I was their master. Uh, I made magic happen with the, uh, with the smoothing tool on, on numerous occasions, let it be said. And... Um, with this new game, with all this newfangled bells and whistles, I, I don't seem to be getting on with it. I, I, I can't fault the tools. There's there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I can. I can fault the tools. There's uh, there's something something weird is afoot here, and all this jiggly, uh, jaggedy business that ends up transpiring every time I uh, I start monkeying around with uh, with Madam Smoothing Gun. There, that's that's new. That's that's not something that existed before. They've only they've only gone and changed the way that the terrain is deformed. Oh dear. Oh. Well, you know, I'm gonna have to overcome and adapt and, and learn from these things and, and make a difference. Because that's what we do here is we learn and adapt and overcome and we take some strings, some sellotape, and we jolly well make it work. So there you go. That's just a that's just a heads up there. But you know. I'm doing this in quite a somber way, quite softly spoken compared to normal, and therefore you can tell I'm serious. <laughs>